Now let's get to the news of the day. A defense attorney is calling on his colleagues to help find who killed three-year-old Mackenzie Elliott. The man being held as a person of interest was let go. And now here we are 71 days later and still nobody's been charged in her death. ABC 2 News, Cheryl Connor joins us now with the update. Cheryl? And Jamie Warren Brown considers himself a liaison between the community and the police department. So he's asking all defense attorneys in Baltimore to question their clients for information on who killed Mackenzie Elliott. Her picture brings up the emotions, the sadness over losing a three-year-old girl, and the frustration of not finding her killer. Oh, my heart breaks for that family. That family is two doors down from John Rogers. Mackenzie Elliott was playing on this porch back in August when she was caught up in a drive-by shooting. The 3600 block of Old York Road still feels the pain. I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed at how the city has handled this situation. A 21-year-old man being held on an unrelated probation violation was let go this week. He was considered a person of interest after police commissioner Anthony Batts vowed to make a quick arrest. Watching the anguish drip from the face of the father of Lil McKenzie when the person of interest was released and understanding the, the gravity of this type of uh, circumstance I thought, what could I do? Defense attorney Warren Brown says it's time for he and his colleagues to question their clients about Mackenzie's killer. He believes they can help police. We, as criminal defense attorneys, are uniquely situated to at least try, through the probing of our clients, to come up with leads for the police. In a statement, Baltimore police said they have substantial leads they are continuing to follow up on. It is said that it takes a village to raise a child, it also takes a village to protect the child. I, I know the pain of, of losing someone, so I can only imagine what they're going through being that this is a child. Mackenzie Elliott's family has not talked with us about the developments this week. Warren Brown says if a defendant comes forward to an attorney, they can help the investigation without going public. Cheryl Connor, ABC2 News. Well, tonight, a local defense attorney is pleading with his colleagues for help, drumming up new leads in the unsolved case of a three-year-old little girl who was murdered. Mackenzie Elliott was hit by a stray bullet in a drive-by shooting in Baltimore's Waverly neighborhood. That was two months ago. Derek Valcourt is in the newsroom and explains frustration is leading to the new calls for justice in this case. Derek? Police had a person of interest in the case, but he was never charged and released earlier this week. Tonight, now there's a renewed effort to find the killer. It's been more than 71 days since three-year-old Mackenzie Elliott was killed by a stray bullet from a drive-by shooting as she played on a neighbor's front porch. Her parents left devastated and wanting answers. Oh, for sure, somebody saw something. Somebody's going to speak up. An outraged community rallied around the family and the police commissioner promised a swift arrest. The person responsible, we will bring them to justice before the end of this week. But that didn't happen and to date still no arrest in the case. And when a person of interest was released from custody Wednesday, the police department would only say it has shifted the focus of the investigation and is actively pursuing leads. This was not done in the dark of night. This, this people know. Defense attorney Warren Brown has no connection to the case, but out of empathy for Mackenzie's heartbroken parents, he's now calling on his fellow criminal defense attorneys to ask around if any of their clients might have information helpful to police. Coming forward to the attorney shields them, actually, allows them to provide the information without themselves going public with it. It's just as much as the uh, community responsibility is as the police. Reverend Dr. Andre Humphrey believes local clergy should take an active role in helping to raise more reward money to encourage someone to turn in Mackenzie's killer. To know that you have uh, a perpetrator out there who is still living his life and, and going to sleep every night and waking up, I can imagine uh, what this is doing to the family. WJZ wanted to talk to Mackenzie Elliott's mother about the latest developments in the case. She had no comment. Back to you. All right, thank you, Derek. If you have information in this case, you can remain anonymous and you can earn some reward money by calling Metro Crime Stoppers, the number 1 8667 Lockup.
Well-known defense attorney Warren Brown is calling on his colleagues to lean on their clients in an effort to find the person who killed three-year-old Mackenzie Elliott. The toddler was killed by a stray bullet in a drive-by shooting back in August. Brown calls the failure of the police to arrest Mackenzie's killer an all-time low for Baltimore City. He sent letters to defense attorneys in the area asking them to help find her killer. I am beseeching my colleagues who are criminal defense attorneys to ask of your clients and their associates if they have any information on the shooter. City Police Commissioner Anthony Batts had promised a quick arrest in the case. Brown says that not only served to provide a suspect's lawyer the suggestion of a rush to judgment, it also created false expectations for the family. So far, police have identified no suspects.